Hey everyone, this is Courtney and welcome to the Incessant Bookworm. On this week's booktube video, I'm doing this week in books. So talking about which books I finished, which books I'm currently reading, and which books I hope to read next. I am in the middle of my back to school reading challenge. So that is the whole month of September where there are nine prompts that correspond with different topics having to do with school or school like things. And I did complete a couple of those for this month, but I also threw in some other books because I just couldn't wait. So some of those might switch in with the prompts I originally had set, but we'll see. We still have a lot of this month to go. <laughs> Otherwise, I am on a book buying ban, so I was invited to attend this garage slash sidewalk sale that supports my local library today. And I jokingly said, oh, well, I could always just buy them and hide them under my bed or hide them somewhere. But realistically, like it's still books being bought that I said I wasn't going to buy, uh, as well as a library borrow ban as well. I had a hold come off and it's ready for me to pick up, which I'm like, I can't. I'm trying to dedicate this month to all books that I currently own or audiobooks that will complete the tasks and the prompts that are already set. So not too bad as we're in kind of the middle of September. I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Next month, once the buying and borrowing ban is off, I'm hoping to kind of treat myself to go to the book loft or some kind of independent bookstore and get some things off my wish list in preparation too for my birthday in November. So kind of like an early birthday gift, just wanting to treat myself kind of thing. Anyway, let's get to this week in books. So the first book I have is What Kind of Woman by Kate Bear, and this is a collection of poems. So this will be released in November, and this was sent to me by Harper Perennial for an advanced review copy and a review of the book itself. So I haven't really read too much poetry um, in the past. I have taken a creative writing course about a year and a half ago over like a sprint course in January. And we wrote five poems ourselves, but also studied a bunch of poetry. So I gained a whole new appreciation of it, but I haven't really touched it since. And this was so beautiful. So Kate Bear, she writes about womanhood, motherhood, um, just what that means to be a woman with a career, with a family, with a significant other and dating. And she tackles a lot of things that I know I personally think often, but don't really voice or think I'm alone in. And the way that she puts it into these shorter poems um, are, are just what we think of when what's in our mind internally when we're thinking of being a woman, like I said, for me personally. So I do have a review coming out for this probably in the next week or so, but I'll post about it again during its pub date. But I mean, it's, it's super short. I read this in one sitting. All right, you can see all the tabs I have in here on all the poems. And like I said, like pretty short, quick poems. Some are about a page or two, some are not even a page, but I am very gripping and very real and raw. The other book I recently finished reading was A Song of Rates and Ruin by Rosanna Brown, and this satisfies my science fiction uh, and fantasy prompts for the sciences as part of the Back to School Readathon or the Back to School Reading Challenge. So this follows two different storylines. One is uh, Malik, and he is kind of like a poorer um, boy or poorer family in part of this whole country or this whole empire. Um, and this is based off of West African folklore. So there's um, some, some hints of that in there as well. But I found it totally fascinating because it also incorporates magic and um, just like witchcraft and sorcery and things like that. So anyway, it follows him on his path of saving his sister who was taken by a uh, magical being. And then we have Karina, who is a princess of the land or of the kingdom, who just witnessed her mom, the queen, being killed. So now she has two kind of things going on. One, finding out who murdered or assassinated her mother, and then two, trying to keep things up as normal so people don't get suspicious that the queen is missing or the queen's dead. So they're all taking part in this celebration. It's a week-long celebration, and Malik somehow gets put into this. It's kind of a mix of like a Hunger Games kind of thing, a little bit of Throne of Glass where there's competitions and you have to make it past each leg of it um, to get the ultimate prize. And it's really cool. I thought I saw what was coming, but I like there's some things where I'm like, oh, 
that's probably going to happen. But otherwise, I love the fantasy element of it. I'm not really that much into young adult fantasy or science fiction, but I'm getting more into it. Earlier this year, I also read A Throne of Glass, and I hope to read um, the prequel to The Hunger Games about of songbirds and snakes. So this I thought was amazing. This just came out this year. I purchased this from Uncle Bobby's um, Coffee and Books over in Philadelphia and absolutely loved it. And there's going to be a second one in this too. Lastly, I finished Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery on audiobook, and this is satisfying my Read Around the World Challenge for a book set in Canada, so for at least for the month of September. So this I felt like I cheated a little bit because I am doing October, the whole month of October, I'm doing the rest of the Anne of Green Gables series or book series, which I had never read before. I've seen the miniseries, the 1985, 1980s series on PBS from Sullivan Entertainment with Megan Follows and Jonathan Crombie, and I'm obsessed with the story, but I haven't read the physical books before. So listen to the audiobook, and it was read by Rachel McAdams, and she was wonderful. And um, so hoping to move forward into October with the rest of the series, but this was pretty quick, young adult book, um, but like I said, I listened to it on audiobook. So onto what I'm currently reading is My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante, and this is satisfying my foreign languages prompt for a translated book. So this is originally in Italian. I believe it's L'Amica Gentile. Um, so I, I think it's like kind friend or gentle friend is the translation. But this is, I believe, a quartet of novels. And this is the first of that. And it follows these two young women and their large families. Um, and they're all Italian and they are growing up together. So it's broken into different stages of their life. So I'm currently in their childhood and they have very different upbringings. Like they're both from working families, larger families, but the way that they are treated in their family at home and then while they're at school is very different. Um, and one of the characters is strong, independent, a um, little wild and the other one's more reserved so seeing what their friendship is all about so definitely not was I what I was thinking it was going to be especially looking at the cover I was thinking some kind of like soft female friendship coming of age which it still might be but there's um, there's some trauma involved already and I'm only let's see this much into it so far so hopefully I'll finish this by the end of the week I'm also reading you had me at Ola by Alexis Daria and this this is one that I'm thinking of using as my one of my prompts because I'm already reading it. It's part of a buddy read with Literature and Lattes blog over on Instagram. So we have conversations and discussions once a week. And I just finished the second part of the, the book um, for the conversation. And we'll have that talk on Friday. But this all finished pretty quickly, probably in the next week or so, to have those discussions. But this follows two different characters. Um, the woman... Uh, Jasmine is a soap star, but also trying to get into more serious kind of television. Um, their version of it is like Netflix, but a different, it's called something else, I guess, for copyright issues. And then there's Ashton, who is a single father, but is trying to hide his son like out of the spotlight so he doesn't get hurt. And they are both cast in this show that is piloting its first season and some things happen there's attraction um some intimacy but we have to see what happens with both of their kind of secrets and what their past look like when it's brought to the light so like i said this would potentially satisfy my recess prompt for a book just for fun i was going to read or maybe will still read 500 miles from you by jenny colgan but we'll just have to wait and see like i said still time left in this month, but there's other books I need to get to that are satisfying other prompts as well. So what I hope to read next for my historical fiction or world history prompt for Read Around the World, I'm looking at Lincoln and the Bardo by George Saunders, and this follows Willie Lincoln, who is Abraham Lincoln's son right after the Civil War, and he is on the verge of death, and then I believe he does end up dying, but he's in this purgatory, so it's a little bit of magical realism along with some historical fiction of that time period. So this, I've gotten some mixed reviews from readers when I posted that this was the selection I was going to use, so I'm interested to see. Lincoln was one of my favorite presidents when I was learning about presidents in uh, my history classes, my US history classes. 
and I think it could be an interesting story. He does have some connections with Cincinnati, Ohio. We have a couple of statues of him in the city. So yes, there there are some truths in the story, but I know also that it, there is going to be um, some based on a true story kind of elements in there that may not be actually true. And the last book I have that I'm going to be reading soon is Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert. And this could kind of satisfy two of my reading prompts for the Back to School Reading Challenge. One could be the translated fiction because this is originally in French, but I want to use it as classics or English class, a book that you've been meaning to read uh, that's been a classic, but haven't gotten around to it. So this I've had on my shelf for a while. It's not too big, but I know it is a classic. I've heard of it before, hadn't read it in schooling or wasn't one of my required readings, but I had heard about it and seen it on Gilmore Girls. Yes, I know I'm quoting Rory and Gilmore Girls kind of stuff, but I can't help it. But this was in, I believe it was the first or second episode where Dean ugh, Dean um, goes up to Rory and talks about like how she was reading Madame Bovary and like some kid got hit in the face with a football and she didn't even flinch because she was so focused on the story and she want, or he wanted to meet her because he never met somebody with such focus before so there you go with that that doesn't spoil anything um but yes this follows Madame Bovary who's Emma Bovary who's in a marriage that she's not really happy with she's bored and she starts having affairs starts kind of spending a lot of money and what does that look like in that kind of setting or in the society that she surrounds herself with so interested to see and read more about that one and we are still in my bedroom for recording, but I added some new wall art. So I hope you like the new decorations, something different to look at besides me and the books that I hold up. But these are my three favorite cities in the world, kind of, because I haven't really seen the whole world yet. But we have Seattle and Boston and London. So those are the three that I chose and they are beautiful prints, got them off of Etsy and it was really easy to work with the owner. So those are the books that I have finished reading, I am currently reading, and then will read. So there is a little dance for you. <laughs> um, so yes, I have set the bar kind of high for this month. Yes, I have nine prompts that I want to finish with the Back to School Reading Challenge. I have the Reader on the World Challenge. And then also trying to write my book or do different elements. So last week, and I'll make a video for this too of my creative writing process. Last week I wrote up the plot, um, which has been in my mind for a little bit. And this week I have to write up some characters and kind of their arc and um, both major and like supporting and minor characters. So interested in that. So it's a, it's a busy month of September, but there's 30 days. It's better than, what we, was this a leap year? 28 or 29 in February, but not as good as 31 that I'll get next month, but taking each day as I can. I've started coming up with a different strategy for my blog so I don't overwhelm myself with how much I need to write for it and also what content or how much content I'm putting out there. So focusing more on quality over quantity. So I think that's going to help multiple parties or audiences. It's going to help me mentally um, with my I, like general anxiety um, and then make me feel more comfortable with what I'm putting out there because it's good stuff or it's things that I didn't have to rush through. I'll be getting more sleep. I'll be able to read through my books and write quality reviews instead of just giving a star rating, which I don't think, I mean, it's helpful, but I think you gotta give some context there when you're recommending a book and then it helps me remember it too. So that'll help. And then I think it'll just give you all um, more insight and some quality and learn about like how I balance out the things that I need to do with life in general, uh, with the blog, reading, and then my work as well. So I hope that format works for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or comment down below. Feel free to subscribe to see more videos of my face and my ever growing decor in my bedroom and other places in my apartment that I think look bookish or have some good backdrops that you might find interesting. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day and happy reading.